Hey guys, welcome to Do More. Now my channel is all about being your own boss, investing your money wisely, and being the best that you can be. So today I spoke to two passionate young guys from a channel on YouTube called Autobuzz. And before I met them uh, in real life and in person, I used to love watching their videos. I used to love the charisma and the genuineness and the quality behind the production. Finally, I got a chance to meet them in real life. They've agreed to come with me on this channel to talk about their journey in the entrepreneurial space and how they create videos. And we had a lot of fun. We talked about their life journeys. We talked about the production journey. And we talked about what it takes to make money in the social media space. So if you like this video, comment on it, share it, like it, and tell me what you think. Stay tuned. <laughs> GC Ma, Ma, GC Ma, <laughs> and Dominic, Dom, yep. Autobuzz. Sure. Yeah. You guys are amazing, man. I love you guys. Oh, love um, you too. Before I knew you guys on, in person, mm. I saw you on YouTube and I loved your videos. I love the fact that you are a bit jahat, la, you know? Yeah. And, and you have to, you have that, that on air personality, you know? Really? It's not easy. Yeah. A lot of people want to be on YouTube, but mm. they don't do it well. Mm. And you do it well. Yeah. He's and the then, funny guy. He's the funny guy. Yeah. He even looks funny. He's monkey show, lah. <laughs> <laughs> And then you, you're the perfect um, pair because you're the techno guy. You're the video guy, you're the production guy. You don't want to be in front of the camera, right? But you're yeah. good at what you do. So before we talk about Autobuzz, um, talk to me about yourselves. You all went to school together, right? Yeah, college. College, college yeah. yeah. So what was that like growing up? It was college, first year? First year. First I year, think, foundation. I think, yeah. It was Indi, Indi yeah. Subang. I think Indi even Subang. maybe first day. First day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First day, first year. In so first day, y'all met and then eyes we crossed clicked. and then yeah. love really yeah. lies, yeah. 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 Started holding hands. Got chemistry. <laughs> no, but we, we kind of like, we literally hold, held hands and people started asking us no, no, whether no, we, we were... We didn't literally hold no, hands. No, really. When I have people approaching me asking whether we are gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm not, not that I have anything against But your hair's not quite nice, so maybe a bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> la, but we, we got we clicked, along. La, we clicked. Clicked, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is, we are same age, same month, and oh, yeah? we are six days, six days apart. apart. Um, birthdays. birthdays. Yeah, birthdays. So we are like Aries. Oh, Aries, huh? Yeah. My sister was in Aries. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. So then that was year one college. You all start to work, right? And then when did you all come together for Autobuzz? No, the funny thing is, I mean, back to college, we, yeah. we, we did a lot of things together. We, yeah, we, we, we oh, you really went into business together? <laughs> uh, no, no, not business, uh, as in college activities. Okay. okay. Yeah, we do a lot of stage stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. We join competitions. We join um, college idol. College idol, champion. 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 So what was the talent? You know, that was that was the time before YouTube even started. Yep. Yeah. There's no reality show. There's no things like that. It's it's, it's real stuff. You, you 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 join competitions. You really perform on the stage. Yeah. Of everyone. Yeah. So you were performing already. We yeah. we. Oh, you yeah, also. Yeah. yeah. And and another friend. Our yeah, yeah, friend yeah. Reason, um, the yeah, he's busy doing his. Yeah. This is against yeah. not 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 just not. In, in tea, this within like different colleges. Oh yes, it's a national yeah. thing. Correct. It's a okay. national it's a competition. National thing. Yes. So you got that rapport already. And then at what point in time do you say, okay, let's do some business together? Not until like 20 late 20 No, but you know, I've always, I, I remember this yes. very clearly. I always tell him, because I know <clears> that <throat> this guy is talented. I know that I, I can do something with him, right? Mm. So I always tell him, hey, let's do something together. Then he'll ask me to do what? I said, hey, let's so, do something together. You say, do what? There's this one time. Uh, do what? Yeah. Uh, let's sell mineral water. Yeah, there's a lot of ideas <laughs> la, over the years. This guy, he's, he's, yeah. he's, he got a lot of ideas. Yeah. He got a lot yeah, of ideas. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's always trying to sell an idea, right? Now yeah. he wants to do something yeah, on Instagram. A, a and no. So I'm like, hey, I have to do something yeah. with this guy. And yeah. this have to do something um, went on for 10 correct, years. Correct, correct, correct. I think because, oh, because 10 okay, years. Yeah, okay. yeah because uh, I, I had to work with Indy because it's a, it's a, it's a bond, scholarship it? bond yeah. thing. Okay, so okay, I worked with okay. Indy for, for a year or two. Then I had to go on to do my, um, to help out my dad, family business. Ah. So then he went on to, he's, yeah, his life is quite interesting. So what? No. <laughs> you were already no. a, like a millionaire or something, no. right? <laughs> not. Some Over like the years, I, I, was like, I was like having so many ideas. And in mm. fact, there was one time you mentioned about like we could probably start like a business from uh, no. your factory or something like that. Uh, I think we went into I, that I as well. Got, I think we went into factory. I think yeah. it was as one time we didn't we did even talk about food delivery. Okay. Online food delivery. Damn, damn. you would have been way yeah. ahead, man. We did. Yeah, we missed yeah. the boat. 
So we, we had ideas like that. Um, no, carpool. We carpool were talking about carpooling and, and all that. Stuff. Shit, yeah, dude, that's, that's another one. The, 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 yeah, the carpooling was yeah. before Uber or Grab mm. came about. We were yeah. thinking like, hey, why don't we come up with an app where people can carpool? But, Correct. Shit. But, but, <laughs> oh yeah, my me, God. Yeah, me being me, I'm, I'm a bit reserved. La. No, I don't like to carpool. You know, why? I, will, I, I might get stabbed or get robbed or something yeah. and all of that. Right? I, I was a bit reserved on that idea. But then a few years down the road, yeah. Uber. Yeah, right, right. But then you, yeah, you need to have like yeah, yeah. deep pockets, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so so you started your business first. You've always been an entrepreneur or? No, no, no. I, I, I was, I have no choice, basically. Yeah. Why? Okay, I just, long story short. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm actually a computer science grad. We, uh, yeah, yeah, same. Same, mm. GC is Okay, a oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I couldn't have yeah. told, man, both of you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we are IT guy, mm. suppose. Geeks la. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So when we graduated, my dad was saying, hey, you know what? You know, don't be picky. Don't be, you know, selective. Just do whatever you have yeah. to do. So I applied a couple of jobs. I, I applied for a marketing job, IT job, advertising job. And the first job that came back to me was an advertising company. So I went into it and then I worked for a good five years. But I've always wondered how is it like being in the IT industry? So when I got an opportunity to do this uh, specialization, I, I jumped into it. So while I was in the IT industry, I felt like, you know, this is not what I want. Yeah. You know? So I started doing freelancing and then eventually I stopped the IT profession and I went in straight to doing production. And at that same time... Video production? Yeah, video production. <coughs> so I started a company with my brother-in-law and a very close friend. So we started this gig and yeah here yeah, yeah, now yeah that's interesting I think you've told me before mm-hmm. um, it was a lot of money right you made a lot of money but the hours are crazy so you gave up your not personal... a lot of money la. we made some okay, money la. La. I yeah. mean I mean national average and you know, one, <laughs> 1% la, you know what yeah. I mean because mm-hmm. Malaysian what's the median income median income is like 2,300 okay. ringgit a month mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so based on what I'm not going to out you la, right? mm-hmm. based on what you told me you're like 1% already right top 1% so what I'm trying to say is that hard work la. yeah so mm. that business that you went in um, you, you, you I mean you made a fair amount of money but you gave up your entire personal life right I mean you were yeah. working all the yeah. time yeah. and yeah. Well, what was that part part of your life like I mean at the beginning it was there, there were a lot of satisfaction like the, the job fulfillment was really good because like you get to build something from nothing and see it through and you know and celebrate it together. But How, after old were you? While, How old were you when you started? Uh, 26. So that's a very young age to get yeah, in your own business. First of all, um, and a lot of people talk about being their own boss, right? A lot of people, mm. right? But they don't have the balls to do it. They postpone it, they postpone it, they, they make up all kinds of excuses. Mm-hmm. And then some people, they never become their own boss. They find themselves 45 years old, 50 years old, and they're still working for the man. Mm. So how did you do it at 26 years old? To come up, you start. You he started it. first, right? He started first. Uh. Um, I think our our joint partnership venture is uh, when we were thirty. Yeah. 49. So yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So you went into the world of entrepreneurship first. <clears throat> Let's put it this way: I had no choice because um, because after that little short stint doing IT. I, I realized that this is not my thing. I want to go back into the advertising industry. I missed it. I missed creative agi- and all that. Yeah, yeah, the creativity, the adrenaline rush, and that I can't sit in front of a computer nine to five. So I started doing my own freelancing, like I mentioned. <laughs> yeah, mm, right. Mm, mm. And then, um, yeah, one thing to the other, and then I just. And then the opportunities the came, and then you started, lah. Yeah, correct. So it's um. It's the importance of just starting it out, right? Just, just and I talked to, to, to you about this, right? Yeah. You have this idea that um, don't think too hard. Don't suffer from analysis paralysis. Mm-hmm. Just do it first, get it started, and then it'll show its way, right? Yeah. How did you come to that uh, thinking? From experience or? Share or motto. Ah, share your motto. <laughs> uh-huh. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. That's very interesting because 26, 25, 26 years old, what the fuck do you know? You don't know a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, you just come out of college, yeah. you know nothing, right? Yeah. So then you come out, you have to win business, you got to talk to clients, correct, correct, right? Correct, correct. I think you one thing about it. him is yeah. he's, a very, he's a very social guy. He's a very, he's very good with, yeah, very good with people. He speaks people, to, I think you've, you've right. got the face that people can trust. 
Yeah. In business, it's very important. It's true, it's true. I'm, I'm not kidding you. It's true. Yeah. He doesn't true. even trust himself. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so that's, I guess that made it quite easy for him. Yeah. Um, people like him, clients like him. Yeah. He yeah. Has, he's signed his close deals quite. And yeah, proper lah. I mean, I talk to people in the yeah. journalism industry yeah. and they say, you know, the, the Autobus boys, they're proper. They're for real. Mm. They don't fuck around, you know. Mm. I mean, they're honest businessmen. Yeah. I think the thing about where we came from, right, me and GC, we are smack in between the late, the baby boomers and the millennials. The baby boomers meaning it lah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So the otai, we, otai, otai. That's yeah, another exactly, word I learned from exactly. you. Otai, eh? otai, otai. We, we learn <coughs> from the otais to be hardworking, to be, be yeah, exactly, <laughs> to be trustworthy, dependent and all that kind of stuff, right? But at the same time, we were exposed to the digital world and you know the, that, that whole uh, lifestyle balance and you know my yeah, right your right that kind of thing yeah, we were yeah. smack in between we learned the old school way of being hardworking, but at the same time we were exposed to the new you know digital bloom yeah so yeah. I think our mm. where we are is pretty unique mm. yeah so yeah, even yeah, speak about your, your experience as well. I mean your in production you started with tape and then slowly. Yeah, you correct. Oh you saw tape. Yeah. So, yeah. so that, that old, doesn't make yeah. you that young or I, I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> no, unfortunately. You're semi yeah. yeah. really yeah. 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 mid to late thirties. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So then you I mean you had the comfort of your family business, right, GC? Uh it was a small family business. Um, but a, a family business nonetheless. Yeah. Which is something, yeah. right? Counts for something. Correct, correct, correct. So um, I was asked to 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 leave in G and then go back to to help out. So it was. What a, business is this? Rubber parts manufacturing is a small um, small setup. Rubber is good. Rubber is always good. Yeah, yeah, but it uh, became very competitive, very competitive, and we are not large enough to 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 expand and and and, and you know fight with the prices and all that. So um, along the way, I mean, manufacturing is a really boring boring work. I deal with. Foreigners, foreign workers, mm. deal with clients once in a while here and there. Um, that's when I slowly okay, let I need to try something else and let's do something else. So, um, so moving to to where mm. well, we how we started. Um, I was I was partnering up with a friend who's selling car parts. That's another good business. Yeah, yeah, car huge, parts. Huge, um, huge business. It's, it's a performance car parts. Oh, not, even, not really, even better. Yeah, yeah. So so um, he he was, he was just selling it online on eBay and stuff. He was doing very well, and then we we, we talked about oh let's do an e-commerce site, you know, just sell through our own platform and all that. And then uh, we started doing that, and slowly you know okay, there's no traffic. Um, it, it takes a while to, to pick up the sales. So okay, he started a blog to bring in the traffic. Yeah. We started a car blog, writing about news and all that. That's how it all started. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. So then. Him being him, you know, I, I was doing it for a while. Uh, it was it was a bit stagnant. Him being him, he he thought, hey, car videos, car yeah, videos, that's right? That's it. That's it. Because really, at that at that very moment, at that time in um that that few years, <laughs> it was really there's only yeah. like one or two yeah. on online. There's on no YouTube. active online yeah. presence like, when it comes yeah. to automotive yeah. Uh, yeah. content. Yeah, no, nothing yeah. too serious. Yeah. It's, it's quite funny because YouTube is one of those platforms that because it's so accessible, <coughs> anybody can be a, a YouTuber, right? Anybody right. can start a channel mm. and everybody can upload videos. Mm. But to get subscribers, bloody mm. hell, is hard, right? Yeah. I mean, this is, you do most on, on YouTube. It is so difficult. Yep. I mean, unless you buy, right? but if you don't mm. want to buy, organic growth is so hard. Mm. And you guys got 120,000 subscribers mm. based on the quality of your content. I'm, I'm presuming you never bought now. Have you, or have you boosted before? Not no, we don't really. No, not don't really. Do that, yeah. Not How really. Do you buy subscribers. I don't think you can do that. Though. You can buy. Well, you can buy. Um, um, it will be replacement, right? You can buy prominence in, in search, right? Right. That's right, what right. Google wants you to do, right. right? I mean, when we first started, we didn't have the budget. We didn't. Mm. We didn't know how to even do that. Yeah, so yeah. We, it, was, it was organic the whole time. Mm. So he just used imagination and creativity. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Uh, it was his face all the while when we first started, la, Because yeah. we didn't have <laughs> yeah. any other uh, personality. You're so a funny yeah, fucker, just man. Him. No, you are. No, you no. are. I mean, I, I think you've got it, man. No, like I said, I'm. I'm. I'm actually not the very talkative person I'm, I'm quite reserved introvert yeah yeah actually extrovert. in in, 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 yeah, in I real life I have no life, idea I thought there's only introvert and extrovert so yeah, there are, I, I yeah. thought I'm like an extrovert yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, you, yeah. you appear like in real life you're not so um, 
gregarious, gregarious as you are on mm-hmm. YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's a bit, it's a bit weird at first, but then you realize it's you. Yeah. No, to, to be on YouTube, you always have to up a notch. Yeah. To be because if you were to yep. only be yourself, and how did you know that? You look very dull. How, how did you know that? Did it come naturally to you? I, I, I do acting. I do of singing course. in college and all that. Um, uh, drama club president. No uh, one is a bloody drama, I, I, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I want to add in to what he just mentioned mm. about how we started. Mm. So prior to Autobus, right? Mm. I was doing production work. I was yeah. doing TV commercial, radio ads, and stuff like that, right? Mm. So I always knew that I wanted to do something with him, right? And he's mm. such a talented guy, right? Talented and on in terms of on air, on screen, on screen. Because I I know that because we've we've done gigs together, mm. we've done performance, you know, all, mm. all that sort of stuff. He's always mm. the funny guy. He wins like the Lipton. What's that Lipton thing? Lipton Yellow Spotlight Contest. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you watch that video I, I again, it's video. so funny. Sen, sen, sen. It's very, very, very funny. You should watch it. He's like, like this old man, and you know, the video selling like poster. Huh. Yeah, so oh, I have to rip oh, it out okay. from the VCD. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's really. It, it was. It was the years where there's no YouTube and all. Yeah, that, so yeah. It's really like self evident Yeah. Where was the <laughs> Where was the finale? It's Sunway. Sunway Pyramid. Pyramid. Yeah, it was in Sunway Pyramid. Yeah, the Sunway okay. Lagoon. Yeah. Okay. Sunway okay. Lagoon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I knew that this guy can be in front of the camera because I'm a director producer myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. always seeking out for talents, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at one until one point, right? Mm. My partner was telling me that hey, because I keep getting him in to do my stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because all my commercials, the Calipair, all my Calipair promos, Calipair not not just Caliphate, all my yeah. commercials, all my promos, yeah, yeah, even yeah. videos and yeah. stuff like that. I was like, hey, let's get him in. Yeah. I, we don't call him GC then, we call yeah. him Ma. He's so yeah. Ma, Ma, Ma. Yeah, I always tell my partner, okay, let's get this guy in. Yeah. You know, because I know if I get him in, my job is easy. Halfway done already. It's halfway yeah. done, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know him so well, right? So I got him in to do Citibank commercial, yeah. do a BCMOE, yes, British, BCMOE. Yes, what, yes, what's yes. it called? British, British Council. Council. Education. Yeah, I got him in yeah. to do Lipton. Lipton. And, you know. So after one, my partner was saying, hey, partner lah. No, he said, yeah. he, he was, they were telling me that overuse already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I remember that. It's like because yeah. every yeah. every other every of, every video he's appearing, yeah. he's yeah. there, and yeah. then you yeah. know, so yeah. Then yeah. he started a blog, and I was so happy doing a lot of uh, video content on automotive stuff, right? And then I was like thinking, hey, yeah. we could be great partners, yeah. right? He yeah. could be the man in front of the camera, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So and, and the idea was. When we first started, we, we keep emphasizing that we want to churn out visual audio uh, content Correct. instead of just write up in pictures. Because at that time, there, there were a lot of blogs write, writing about, uh, you know. Yeah, so it's just photos. Yeah, photos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what everybody is doing, right? Yeah. Right. All the yeah. car sites were doing that and yeah. we hadn't innovated. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So we wanted to push automotive content. Right. You know, as yeah. much as we can. And so it's a perfect match. Intuitive, right? Because these are things of, of beauty. Mm-hmm. Uh, people lust after cars and what better to see them in, a, yep. in, in motion, right? Mm-hmm. Correct, it's correct. Essentially. Correct. And hear them. Right? Yeah, and correct. hear them. Yeah. And that's how mm-hmm. Jeremy Clarkson made his name on yeah. Top Gear, yep, right? Yep, yep. And the whole bromance thing. Um, mm-hmm. So, but before we get into the partnership, right? What makes an on air talent in your, in your idea, in your opinion? It's very different. From those days, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, through my observation, like, I feel that at this era, in today's YouTube in, social yeah, media yeah, era, yeah, there's a lot of uh, raw personality. The more real you are, yeah. the better yourself. Yeah. I mean, there's one segment that is targeted for more on digital YouTube side. Yeah, but we we are trying not to go that direction. We're trying to be in between. You know, keeping our personality, but at the same time, good quality production. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so not too unproduced. Yeah. So there's a right balance between being produced correct. and being raw and yeah. real. Correct, yeah. correct. So we're because trying to strike that balance. Yeah, when we, we started, see, huh? we were all about quality because what they do yep. is quality stuff. Yep. So yeah, yeah. we thought people would appreciate like quality uh, videos mm. about cars, right? So we started. <laughs> and that they're way. bloody good. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we started that way. We, we, we try to keep it that way. But since the about two years back mm. and then um, all these um, other uh, uh, YouTubers mm. and all the other personalities start to come in doing a more raw stuff like what Dom yep. just mentioned so people start to like all this mm. very raw very unfiltered 
content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it makes us come to a to 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 a junction where we we have to figure out. Okay, should we actually go that direction, or mm. should we actually maintain our, our quality? So it is yeah, still being debated. Yeah, correct, correct. From I've seen to some day. of these. Yeah, I hope you don't mm. mind. I I mentioned them on 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 the broadcast. Mm. I mean. Paul Tan does some good stuff, but it's yeah. very produced with Petronas. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got this other guy called um, Bobby Young. Yep. Yeah. Bobby Young is the other way around. He's yep. like completely he's unproduced. Like, yep. Yep. He's yeah, off extreme. the cuff. Mm. I'm not sure how much um, factually, uh, accurately he... He, he, <laughs> he knows his stuff. He knows yeah. His stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, you don't know, right? Because yeah. he, doesn't, he doesn't appear to have a script. So, yeah, yeah. Well, Lan, you can remember so many things, Anna, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's good content and it's real content. Yep. And it's long, 25, 30 minutes sometimes, right? Right. right. But then... Only you guys had the imagination because when I... Do you remember the one you did with the McLaren and the Uber? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, you were an Uber driver and a McLaren. Yeah. That, that's interesting. Yeah. How many guys thought of that, right? You know, fine yeah. stuff. Uh. Um, if I'm not wrong, really, we were the first one to do it. Yeah. yeah. Right after that, the Maybe, Batman with the yeah. Lamborghini came up, somebody yeah. with the Bugatti right. came right. up. Right. So yeah. we were the one to really kick it off. So... But things like this, so it's, it's, it's just like it's very seasonal and it really it yeah. comes like, ah, oh, let's do that. Yeah. You know, last night I just watched Rocket Man. Have you guys heard of the movie Rocket Man? El, El, Elton the John. One, right? Elton John yeah. with um, his uh, partner, mm. well, not partner, but songwriter, mm-hmm. Bernie Taupin. Mm-hmm. So Bernie Taupin used to write all the lyrics mm-hmm. and Elton John used to perform them and put the music to it. Mm-hmm. They had a partnership, like, I mean, until now, spending 55 years, they've never had an argument. He is always, uh, Bernie has always produced the, the lyrics mm-hmm. and Elton John has always produced the music to go with it. Mm. What about you guys? Do you see that this partnership can go on and stand the test of time? Well, number one, t- stand mm. the test of time. Mm. But the creativity is mm. very important because creativity can come and go. Mm. And when it leaves you, it's, it's bloody hor- horrible. Mm. Right? I mean, and that's the, the fear of every creative person, right? Mm. One day, like, you just, your, your ideas dry up. Mm. I think back to the point where about arguments, I think it's, I might think it, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I would think it would be unhealthy if there's no arguments. So must within, argue, lah, right? Must course, trash it out. Constructive we believe that yeah. you yeah. need to trash it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. correct. So we, we, uh, uh, we can't be always giving in to each other and all that mm. because surely he has his ideas, yeah. I have my way of doing things, yeah. and then yeah. he has his way of doing things. So yeah. I think arguments is, is, is healthy in a, yeah. in a yeah. partnership. So how many, how many years have you guys been on YouTube already? Five. Yeah. five, five. In five years, it's gone from like what it was to what it is now. Mm. It's a completely different animal now. Mm. What about in your in you guys' opinion? How is YouTube content? How has YouTube content got to evolve over the next five years? How are tastes changing? Because right now it's all about short form, right? Mm. Right, uh, TikTok and Instagram <clears> videos <throat> and all that. Do you think that's gonna stand the test of time? I think YouTube will still go on. Yeah. yeah, of course, uh, you, the platform will stay, right? Yeah. No question. Yeah. But how about user um, preferences? Or is it futile to try and generalize too much? I'd like to come to this uh, conclusion where, you know, in it, it's, it's a trend where there's this point in time where brands and, and brands would like to have a lot of keywords on, on Google. They, they, they come out content, they have keywords, they, have, you know, they just want keywords on Google, searchability and all that. But now, keywords is so important on YouTube. Okay, so mm-hmm. the, the keywords come in when you do the description or the tagging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tagging, the, tagging, the mm-hmm. keyword, uh, the, the, the content itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Content itself. Your so, title and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm sure all these viewers are, will still go on to consume whatever that's on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, short or long. In fact, there's this study by Google recently um, to say that um, there's no right duration to a content. Okay, right? interesting. So, for a brand, um, a brand owner, if you come up with a content that's more than five minutes, nobody's going to watch it. You have to do something within like one and a half to three minutes. To a brand owner? For a brand owner, for brand. If okay. it's a promotional mm-hmm. video. I see. Right? Okay, so, so the other, a, car, a car ad, for example. Correct. Right, you, okay. You, you can't be doing like a five or ten minutes video. Of nobody's course, watch of it. course. The other spectrum, if you are a vlogger or YouTuber, you can go up to 20, 20 yeah. 25 minutes yeah. and it's still okay. acceptable. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there, there's no right or wrong into how people consume all this um, content, mm. short or long. It depends on who is yeah. the content. Mm. So how do you explain like um, Joe, Joe Rogan's mm. podcast, on which this kind of podcast is almost based on, not identically, but um, um, loosely based on, 
his podcast on YouTube go on for like three, four hours, you know. Yeah. And within like six hours or three hours mm. of his posting it on mm. YouTube, sometimes he does a live stream, right? Mm. With um, Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith, he mm. did a live stream, right? Mm. Within like three hours, it's like 700,000, 800,000 views, mm. man. It's insane. Mm. And it's not as if he, he sticks to some format. He talks, he just talks shit. Yeah. yeah. He, he just talks, on on. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. just talks shit, but mainly it's about things like drugs and um, no. uh, um, um, working out yeah, or nutrition yeah. Or, yeah. or MMA or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't really follow Joe Rogan. I don't. He does. Yeah. Yes, he's a big yeah, fan. Yeah, he does. He's a big fan. fan. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the the thing about Joe Rogan is, he, I I feel that he's very unique. Yeah. I feel that he has created, he has managed to create a personality where everyone believes him, and everyone wants to know what he consumes, what he likes. Really? What he, yeah. I see. So they everyone in wants him. to. <clears throat> yes, they're interested in him. Everyone wants to know his point of view. Even though they might be uh, wrong, that's, right? that's the real KOL. They're, yeah, I see, like our yeah. kind of yeah, KOL. Yeah, 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 there are yeah, there are some yeah. there are some stuff that he say that are not factually right. Okay, but he's very clever. He he will not say an absolute. He will say, um, I believe it is like this and like that. Yeah. Right. But then yeah. when you do a counter check, then you realize that he's a little bit off. Yeah, okay. people can accept it. Yeah, people can <laughs> accept it, but yeah. people believe him because most of the time he's correct. I well, would most say of the that time, none of us are actually correct all correct, the time, correct, right? Yeah, correct. We just have an opinion correct, most of the time. Correct, mm. correct. So for me personally, I would I want to know everything about him because I find him very interesting, and and his fans worship <coughs> him like a god. Like they they will say they everything is like there's a meme that goes you know that Joe Rogan knows everything. Okay, so. He he has he, can, can he has a knowledge of a big white uh, almost variety everything of stuff. Under the sun. Yeah, but yeah. nothing too in depth except a few topics that is very close to his heart, like nutrition, like uh, cannabis, like you know that bunch of stuff which he's yeah. really knowledgeable. But everything else, he touched the surface of it because mm. he reads a lot and he's you know he's out there and he's always been engaging and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's what I realized about him. Yeah, it's, it's the, the personality at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It falls back to yeah. personality. Yeah, but that also is is almost like um, without him, there's no GRE. Mm. There, there is no Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is no, there is no scalability to that mm-hmm. idea, right? Mm-hmm. And I think we talk about this sometimes. Mm. Um, Dom, business needs to be scalable, right? Mm. Without, without, I mean, without Rogan, there's no Joe Rogan. Mm. So there's only him. If he if he gets old or right. he starts to lose energy, that's it. Mm. Game over, right? So as a business model, it's not great. Yeah. That's a different business model altogether. Because mm-hmm. if Joe Rogan is sick for a week or a month, and then he's yeah, a yeah, if he's got flu, he can't yeah. do his podcast, correct, right? Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Like just like a celebrity, like, yeah, like correct, an actor. Correct, yeah, correct, yeah. Correct, correct. You, you got Brad Pitt falls sick, he can't make a movie, that's it. Correct, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Or he breaks his leg. Yeah. Or... That's why Joe Rogan is very smart. He starts his own gym, he starts like on it, like you, you, we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. We were talking on about on it, yeah, right? Yeah. It's his brand, he owns it. He yeah. owns on it, right? Yeah. So he's he's very smart. At the oh, same yeah, time, he's right. trying he to create own. different businesses and mm. stuff like that that can sustain. Mm. So Riding on his popularity. Is, yeah, yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Smart thing to do. But to be fair, mm. prior to being on Joe Rogan experience or starting his podcast and all that, he, he was a personality already. Already, like, yeah, yeah fear with factor, a fear factor. From his stand-up comedian, uh, you know, <coughs> comedy, yeah, 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 yeah. you know that he sort of stuff. Him, yeah. yeah, acting and stuff like that. So he kind of built like a, a a name for himself before he went into you know that whole podcasting. And yeah, if you yeah. were to start from scratch, <coughs> I think it's yeah. It's gonna There's be, no it's way. It's a different game. Yeah, 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 yeah correct, correct, correct. Okay. So he is in a, in a unique position. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I ask mo- um, anybody who comes and talks on on, on this podcast. Um, who make the money or part of the money on social media or on, on YouTube, I always ask them what is the revenue model. And I always ask them what they think, how it's always going to evolve. Because it's always changing. It's always mm. evolving, taking different forms mm-hmm. and different shapes. I mean, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought that anybody can make money on Instagram? But they do. I think Ronaldo makes like, I don't know, 300,000 euros or something per posting. That is insane. Wow. Mm. That is insane. So you, in, your, in your opinion, and our experience here is very different from America because we are ASEAN, you know, 630 million people, granted, but very fragmented. Different languages, different cultures. Unlike America, America is like one big yeah. fucking country, right? 250 million people. How are you guys going to navigate the next 10 years at Octopus? We, 
That's Interest, a good question. Interestingly, we have been thinking about it, and yeah. We, yeah. we we have some ideas on on, on what to do next yep. in the second phase kind of yeah. thing. But uh, personally, I would think because we are running it as a publication. Okay. Right, and we are on a digital space. So it's still driven by ads and sponsorships. Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. So in a way, uh, we would like to think car brands or clients still would need certain platform to, mm. to shout out on their products and showcase their products and all that. So it will still go on, but uh, I think we will, we always have to innovate on how to come yeah. up with all this content, how to do it differently and all that. Um, but this, the next fixed space thing is, is uh, it will still revolve around the, the, the industry, but... Uh, Any plans to go out of like automotives or stay in cars? We, we had ideas yeah. on Venturing, venturing into yeah, different yeah, industries, yeah. yeah. replicating mm. what we are doing into yeah, different yeah, industries, yeah. like mm. a tag or mm. yeah, yeah, property yeah. and all that. But yeah, yeah, that's right. Try to focus right. now for now. Correct. For now. Yeah. Mm. Interesting because um, traditionally the revenue model was the people take an uh, advertising right mm. around your content mm. around mm. your audience, mm. and that continues to be the model till today. Mm. Um, but you have made a very different revenue model with production. Yep. And is production still a, a thing going forward? I would say that the budget, like overall in the market for doing branded content has definitely decreased. La. I mean, yeah. they've taken like the chunk of money and put it into digital. So mm. um, for that reason, I personally, I feel that, you know, that is the way to mm-hmm. go. That is the direction to go where you create your own content and then you get brands to sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to outright doing an ad for the brands. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, most of the advertising agencies are suffering. Uh. Let's yeah. just be Let's honest. Be, be honest Let's just be honest it. about it. Right. So even in fact, they are acquiring uh brands publication and trying to create their own content and trying to go into that business model as well you know they're trying all sorts of ways trying to have their own production team trying to you know no more outsourcing for jobs that are below twenty thousand, and you know stuff like that so you could see there's a riff in the whole advertising uh, landscape right so everyone is trying to do something on the digital platform so yeah yeah, and then you've got the the big boys like Facebook and Google, right? Yep. And all the money seems to be going to them because the amount of data that these guys can yeah. give you is incredible, right? You can even slide... Yeah, I mean, if you just buy a spot to get your your video more prominently or your Instagram post more prominent, you can actually specify how old these your audience is, targeted. where they mm. sit, um, what they like, mm. and it's very targeted, very affordable. Mm. So how, what is the... Pos- I mean, we are both content creators. We are all content creators, right? What is the future for content creators? Where is the future for journalists and uh, writers in the future? Because I, I haven't figured it out. I, I don't know what you guys have. Mm. I think content creation mm. is... Brands will still... Uh, the, 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 sh- the, the shift between um, advertising to content creation, I think it's more on content creation now. Mm. Advertising will be more on a like, short-term burst to you know just want to get mm. things out quickly. Yeah. Where content creation will be a long term thing. You yeah. create a content, you put it on YouTube it's <coughs> forever, and it's it's fair for people to refer to and all that. Especially for cars, for example. Yeah. You sell a new car now. You you want to buy a new car now. You watch car review. Mm-hmm. You want to buy a second car. You still watch car review. So, uh, content is 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 just a long way to go for content. I still feel. Yeah, and you yeah. need quality content which is well done and well mm-hmm. curated, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a good time for the Malaysian car industry right now, for the first time. Proton is selling cars on their own merit, not because of some structurally imbalanced system where mm-hmm. you have no choice but to buy a Proton. Remember, right? Mm-hmm. In the nineties, yep. you had no choice. Die die mm-hmm. because they were the cheapest cars mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. You couldn't buy anything else because everything mm-hmm. was just too expensive. Yep. But today, people are buying Protons because they're good shit, right? Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Yep. And Proton is the same thing. Mm-hmm. I think that's great. Yep. Yep. Um, so for people like you guys who's covering the industry, right? What are the three most exciting things happening in the industry? In the car industry, in the local car industry? EV. 
<laughs> is that even exciting? Because uh, EV is slow. I think yeah. EV is slow, right? It's, it's taking a long time. Uh, yeah. Speaking of EV, we just uh, mm. the the Nissan Leaf was just. Slow. You can lease mm. the Leaf now. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So there's a, there's a there's a change now. You can either buy off the car right directly, mm. or you can subscribe to the car. Meaning yeah. For a minimum of three years. Yeah. Oh, minimum pay, three years. Mm. Pay, okay. Um, three thousand five hundred ringgit. Mm. You get to have the car. Okay, so it's a down payment of three thousand five. Uh, yeah. No, it's, no a, it's, it's a monthly. monthly leasing, oh, monthly yeah. three thousand five. It's like rental. Mm. So it's expensive, lah. As compared to ownership, which is 3,200 ringgit. Mm. So, so if you own the car for three years... Well, you don't own the car. You no, just give it yeah, back, right? Yeah, correct. I mean, you use the car for three years and then you give it back or you just continue with a new model. Or, correct, you know, correct. It's like you're changing your iPhone. Kind of well, Mercedes thing, the, had the, the same option with the Mercedes leasing. Mercedes oh, that's financing. the finance, the yeah. GDT financing. It's mm. yeah. somewhat like that, but uh, it's more like a financing mm. um, way of... Is that the new model of car ownership or car consumption now? Do you think? Overseas, yeah. I believe, Maybe, yeah. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. I believe yeah. that will be the yeah. future. Yeah. More and more people are uh, mm. not buying cars, not Correct. using cars, uh, they're using yeah. um, e-hailing. I know so many kids now, they, mm. don't, they don't want to take a driving license. Mm. They don't want to buy a car. Mm. Yeah. I mean, hell, they don't even want to buy a house. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Right? Yeah. They just want to stay loose and mobile. Correct. And anytime they can go, they can go. Correct. Correct. I think that's great. Mm. But it's not good for the car manufacturers. Mm-hmm. It's not good for the property developers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hence, that's why they are moving into leasing. Correct. All these, yeah. um, all these different kind of mobility mm. uh, way of doing things. Mm. Um, you you either lease the car or you. Um, you can come in and out all the time, right? Correct. But correct. and you think about it, it's good for the. I mean, for for the younger generation, they want hassle free. Yeah. They don't want. They want flexibility. Flexibility mm. and stuff mm. like that. So because the leasing yeah. program helps you to cover all of these things. Yeah, like, because you don't have to yeah. pay for maintenance. You don't have yeah. to send it. You have also, to send if, it if you lease the leaf, mm. they will yeah. take care for you. Correct. Yes, Brilliant. Correct. 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 If your so wiper is out, they change it for you. Correct. Your brake pads. Correct. If anything goes wrong, you just send it back. You replace the car for you. Yeah. Right. And speaking of leaf, mm. you don't have to pump petrol. Okay, yeah, la, but the range yeah, is shitty. Yeah. So, the range yeah. is shitty, so if, right? Sorry? 311 km. Yeah. Okay, la, so you it's can go to Penang. La. Penang is a bit Correct. what, la, right? But yeah. if they build like an e-charger in between... Correct. So if they... No, now you went back to infrastructure, right? Yeah. So if they were to build a quick charger in mm. Ipoh, you can yeah. actually make it all the way to Penang. <laughs> quick charger will take you less than an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Sure enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure yeah. enough, because you can't yeah. like... Correct. Correct. Because the, the, the e-charger, uh, the, the, the fast charging, the quick charger is, uh, is a 50 kilowatt. Mm. No, okay, so they just zap it, lah. Correct. Mm. For, okay, for okay. less than an hour, you get like zero dollars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So percent. Yeah, hassle free. You don't need to worry and think about anything. I think that's great because yeah. I remember when um I had an Astro subscription, and it was a pain in the ass to try and terminate your membership. My God, they made yeah. it so hard for you. I got so pissed off with them. Sorry, Astro. Um, <laughs> but the best thing about Spot, uh, not Spotify, um, Netflix. Netflix. Anytime, anytime you can leave, and, yeah, anytime yeah. you can come back, yeah, correct, right. So yeah. that's the model of the future. I, I think, think so I too. Because you know why, people, people don't want to commit. They don't want to commit. Correct, right? Correct. They don't want to commit. Yeah. Of, so yeah, right. the car rent, the car leasing program is also about that. Correct. So maybe in the future yeah. you can see it month by month, even like okay, like minimum six months or something, right? Yeah. You commit to three months, six months. And mm. then you can upgrade if you want. Correct. You can go sideways right. if you want. You can trade it in if you want. Right. Because once you get bored with the car, you just change the model. Right. Yep. Right. You're not well, stuck, stuck with the, the bloody thing for yeah. five years, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's interesting because I heard Audi on radio this morning. Mm. This guy called Anthony Mannering or something. Oh, Jeff Mannering. Jeff Mannering. Yeah. And that even if Audi is going there, mm. everybody will be following, okay. right? Audi started in the States and they, they have it in Singapore as well. Yeah. So you can, you can, it's, it's a bit like rental. It's not really like leasing. Mm. It's more like rental. Same thing, la, leasing yeah. rental, right? Yeah. So it's, it's, in other words, they are basically trying to find ways to make full use of their own cars. Yeah, yeah because stock, yeah. You, you still know? get the use of the car and you still get a return on the car. Yeah. But it's the model which is changing. Mm. Right. Could this be the future? Like, you know, the percentage of owning a car is way below compared to like, you know, leasing. Yeah. It, it, it depends, you know, because the, the China man in me, mm. I cannot stand <laughs> it if I don't yeah. really own the thing. Uh. You're damn China man. Yeah. I can tell, man. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm the same as well. Because right. I want to, uh, it has to be my car. It's yep, going to yep. smell exactly. like my yep, car, yep, right? Exactly. I'll put, yep. I want to put my shit in my car, man. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. So, I cannot, I, I, it's, yeah. it's not my thing. Man. But it's, it's a different thing. mindset altogether if you think yeah. about it. Because yeah. like people in Hong Kong, like they, they, they don't really own houses. They prefer renting it. So I heard. In Germany as well. Yeah. They are, they are into renting houses yeah. and stuff. But yeah. where else for us? 
you know, it has been drilled in us since young to own a house, to have that security, yeah, yeah. just I think stuff like that. You know, it's slowly moving there, right? Because there are like developers uh, uh, offering like rent to own, yeah, kind of thing. <clears throat> so you guys are still quite young. I mean, compared <clears throat> to me and my mates, right? Um, are you are you more in tune with that? I mean, okay. So the other equation is investment, right? How do you all invest your money? If you don't own a house, which is a traditional um, investment yep, thing, yeah. right? Um, and the stock market. I, I've been told it's, it's quite an alien concept for young mm, people nowadays. Yeah. They believe in cryptos and all these mm. things, right? How are you going to make your money last you so that when you retire, you've got enough savings in your bank? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> EPF. <laughs> You're kidding, right? That's, that's a lot of me. I mean, yeah. like I said, I'm, I, I'm, I'm the kind that I need to own something. Yeah. So I can't, mm-hmm. I can't go on living like a nomad and yeah. just move around. I can't. Maybe for him, he can. No, it's, it's more I mean, of a hipster. Actually, no, that's why about, yeah. I was. We were just talking about this. Like, we are in between this generation, mm, the nineteen eighties. Yeah. We're in between. You're in between. Yeah, you're in between. Our parents taught us to be frugal. Our parents taught us to save. Our parents yeah. taught us that you need to buy a house, mm. a car, and stuff like that. But at the same time, our innate desire is to re- live freely. We are yeah. kind of like you know for him. in between. No, really, the I'm, people. I'm with him as well. Yeah. We really? talked about this so before. Really? Yeah, hitting the road, man. Yeah, That's yeah, you're road. Exactly. About driving That's right. Going, going Nepal. off. Yeah. India, Nepal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go off grid. I want to, you know. So there's Just a part the of cord, me, man. yeah, a part of me that wants to be that, but another part of me, you know, has been ingrained with all these values that you need to be this and that. Mm-hmm. So, personally, it's a struggle, right? So I'm trying to find that balance as well. So. Not much investment, not much savings. So, yeah. yeah, but you guys are business owners, and that's a big thing. Yeah. So if you were to give advice to the to the to the young kid, right, 25, 30 years old kid, who everybody wants to be their own boss, right? Everybody wants to be in charge of their own life, mm. right? We agree, right? Mm. Right. Who wants to work for the man for the mm. rest of their lives? Mm. Nobody, right? Mm. What is your advice to them? GC Ma. Uh, do you, do you, I think even even before we start giving advice, um, fake it like fake, fake it until you no. That's it. not my motto. <laughs> that's not his, that's his motto. Um, a lot of people. It, okay, there are peers like our friends and all that. They will come to us and say, "Hey, you know Cantonese, right?" Then not really lah. They say, "Oh, Liu Hou la, Zhou Lu Sai, and all that, right?" Ah, Lu Sai lah. Right, Lu Sai, Lu Sai, and all that. Then, boss, then, right? we, mm. then I would normally say. Every month don't have to worry about your monthly pay. You know, yeah. Yeah, every yeah. month you got a salary, right? Cash flow is an issue always. Always. Yeah. 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 So so for us it's like uh in Cantonese it's like you see me good, I see you good long. Mm. So Grass always greener. Exactly. So if you want to be a boss, it's, it's a lot of sacrifices. Really a lot of sacrifices, a lot of things to consider. Yeah. Whether you can actually live without Correct. pay for the Correct. first few Correct. months and and, and and the months to come. Yeah, and no, yeah. you don't get to go travel. You don't get to have big always cars. working, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and also, and not just that. I mean, that's just just a sustenance. But you you also need to always innovate yourself. You yep. know, change. You yep. have to adapt to what's going on yep. to the to the industry that you're in and all that. It's it's so easy to say I want to be a boss. I want to live, you know, freely mm. and not work for anyone. It's so easy to say that, but. You, you can do that, but mm. there's a lot to consider. Mm. So, okay, so talk about the three mm. biggest things to be uh, aware of. Mm. And the three, big, the three pros and the three cons, okay? The three best things about being your own boss and the three things that you've got to watch out for when you want to be your own boss. Mm. I'll start with you. There'll be six stuff. Six yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll start with one. Experience, one. right? Yeah. 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 yeah, you've been through it the last five mm. years. Yeah. Well, uh, the best thing about being a boss is you get flexibility, lah. That's, yeah. that's, that's mm. the best. Yeah. Um, you have time for. But for do you really have flexibility? Or not? Well, you you have to make time for it, lah. Yeah. Make time for like for your family and all that. Mm. Like for example, um, of course you you have your busy period, you know, and, and also you have your free time and, and all that. So you get to do more of your own things. Um, the the second thing would be I think fulfillment. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's yeah to shape your own destiny, right? Correct. To shape your Correct. own course, right? Mm. One of the best things. Um, you you wake up, working towards your your own life or your, your mm. own thing, and it's it's, it's 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 our baby, right? So we came with this baby, and we always have to mm. have to look after it. Um, can I pass to you that point? <laughs> I I would agree with the flexibility. Yeah. Right? yeah. But I mean, like anything, you know, there's pros and cons, right? So, flexibility is one. Yeah. But 
let, let me just talk about one of the cons, okay? Mm. Can we just jump into the cons, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I realized that, yeah, it's all, it looks, on the outlook, it looks great to be your own boss and stuff like that, mm. but you need to be able to govern yourself. I discipline. realized that you need to be discipline, disciplined, yes, correct? Yes. Because I always share with him, we have to make sure our work pays off. We have to make sure that whatever we're doing has value at the end of the day. It's an ROI. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, mm. that's what I'm trying mm. to say. Mm. So there's no boss or there's no superior telling you what to do. So you need to really be disciplined and tell yourself, okay, this week or this month, this is what I'm going to achieve. Set targets and set goals for yourself. Because yeah. if you're just like a free, fully free-spirited, very easygoing, you know, nonchalant kind of guy or person, Personality is very hard. Cannot. It's very hard. You, you can probably at the big at the beginning, but to sustain it is very difficult. Because especially yeah. for our industry, right? For people like this, right? They a lot of people say, "Wow, this is the best job in the world. Yeah. You get to enjoy." It's not what it car. seems, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. It's not so what it seems. So, so if you're not disciplined, right? You'll be enjoying on new cars, nice cars, go traveling, all yeah. this travel, work, travel, and all that. If you're not so disciplined and you're not thinking about what's next for the next few months. You're gonna be, you're gonna be, especially if you have a team, correct, to, correct, to take correct. care of. So there's always we always have to think ahead on on what's what's gonna happen in the next three months mm. and all that. Enjoying enjoying the job is one thing, but it comes with a lot of uh, mm. of responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're yeah. alone, it's fine. Mm. You eat maggi mee every day. Correct. So pasala, if you enjoy too much, right? Mm. So, but you have like other uh, lives that's depending yeah. on, on and salaries, on, on right? The salaries, correct, yeah, correct, yeah, correct. Correct. yeah. 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 I mean, they are all depend dependent on the company and on you know you to make sure that you know they get their salary on time, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's something we always have it in our minds that you know, we need to make sure that the guys all get paid, even though we don't get paid sometimes. Yeah, you that's know, right. That's right. cash flow, right? Yeah. That yeah. is the sacrifice. Those are the sacrifices. Right. But the, right. the good thing is that I, I in my opinion, mm. because I'm an entrepreneur myself, mm. well, kind of lah. I think the difference between an entrepreneur and a businessman is an entrepreneur changes the way things are done. It, an entrepreneur, by definition, I think disrupts industries. Mm. I don't think I'm an entrepreneur. I think I just... I, I think we've talked about this as well, right? I, I, I we also are business struggle. people. Yeah, I also struggle with we that, are business yeah. people in the sense that we mm. just do our own thing to satisfy our own commercial interests. Mm. And then we, wanna, we, we aim to make more money than we spend. That's mm. it, right? Mm. That's it. Yeah. The typical Chinese man, huh? No, I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to disrupt industries. I tried to do it with my first business with Asian Auto. It was too mm. hard. Mm. Yeah, it was too hard. There's, there's something to be said for Johnny Come Lately Industries. Mm. Johnny Come Lately Industries are where they allow other people to make the mistakes, mm. to open the road, and then they come in after that, after mm. all the mistakes have been done. Mm. I'd rather be a Johnny Come Lately. Mm. And you know who taught me that? Mm. Tan Sri Clement He. Clement oh. He runs Segi. Mm. He, I mean, he's very successful, right? Mm. He, um, he's a Sabahan, Sarawakian. Mm-hmm. He owns um, um, Segi College. He owns his own property development company, his own media company. And his motto in life, in business, is he never does it first. He always allows other people to do it first. And yeah, then he comes in after that. Mm. After the people have died, they've mm. gone bankrupt. And then he comes in. And then he does it. He's learned from everybody else. Mm. I think that's great. Well, either that or you you miss the boat. Right? Or you miss the boat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct. Depends. You yeah. miss the boat. If, yeah. if things goes well for yourself, mm. everything, die, everyone dies off and yeah. you just take the path that you yeah. just... Okay. If everybody dies. Mm. Correct. If everybody dies. But mm. if you if somebody, like out of 10, one of them made yeah. it and yeah. you, you just be sitting there and watching, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I first did, um, I because I, 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 I love the car industry, right? Mm. I, um, and when we did Asian Auto in the late mm. 90s with Mel, with yeah. Lee, yeah. right? With yeah. Asian Auto, the, um, uh, there was a company called Lelong, uh, Auto World, and they didn't spend the way we did. They were run by a Chinaman businessman, okay? And they just stayed the whole way, very steady. They just survived until today, I think they're in business. They're still in Are business. You're talking about AutoWorld.com? AutoWorld, oh, AutoWorld. Yes. AutoWorld. Yeah. Yeah. Classified lah. Those days. Classified. Yeah. Right. They had a so, car uh, mm. portal and yeah. You, they, they, they just continued sustaining, sustaining. Yeah. Businessman lah, right? Mm. Earn this much, spend this much. Earn this much, spend this much. I think, I, I think they somebody bought over, 
or two world. Hong Leung, I think it's Hong Leung. Uh, no, I think it's um, Job Street mm. Corporation. Oh, it's okay. So they bought the classified business. Correct. Right. So they bought the, the, the mm. if you are talking about Auto World, yeah, Auto World, yeah, Auto World, Auto World. Uh, so they, I think their classified is still running. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. But but it's been yeah. overtaken by Carly. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Honda. But the yeah. thing is, they are. To, I mean, they are the first classified that I. Correct. used to visit correct, correct. And right, they're, they're right. And like the forums first. are very good correct, right? correct, correct. And our forums are amazing yeah. with amazing traffic mm, as well yeah. mm, mm. so they stayed on they stayed on, yeah, they stayed on right? they stayed mm. the same style doing yeah. Yeah. yeah so sometimes it's just staying the course mm. keeping your cost in management yeah. mm. being a businessman mm. you know I don't think I don't think the, the typical American way of doing business mm. can work so well in mm. Malaysia mm. unless you have very deep pockets Billions to spend on advertising, hiring the best, paying over the odds for people. Yeah, it's hard. Mm. It's hard. It's hard. Mm. So we are bootstrapping all the way. Bootstrapping right. all the way. Right. 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 So I, I guess my message to people who are listening and watching <clears throat> is for you guys, right? Because you guys are the guys next door. You have not come mm. from rich family. Mm. You have not come from privileged background. You have not studied overseas. Mm. You know, UK since young. No. Mm. You guys are just normal Joes. Yeah. You had the balls to start, you did it, and you're making it as you go along. Mm. I think that's great. I think that's a lesson for everybody there. Because mm. everybody can do it. Everybody can be their own boss. Yeah. Actually, I mean, not trying to blow our own horns, mm. to think ab mm. about what we've achieved, mm. you know, from virtually working, nothing, you know, right? from nothing, virtually nothing, or working right. for someone mm. to, you know, Crafting, <coughs> crafting our own path and mm. destiny. I think, I, I mean, I'm always quite uh, proud and I'm yeah. a bit reflective. Yeah. Like I always, when I wake up, I'm always very thankful that, you know, I, I, I'm able to do this. I'm very thankful for the flexibility and I don't take that for granted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I sometimes compare, I mean, my situation, I won't include you guys as well. Mm. Um, some of my friends in, in my age group who are earning bucket loads of money, right? Mm. 100,000 a month, 200,000 a month. They're making a lot of money, but they have a boss. Mm. And they can report to the board of directors. Right. And they're not free, you right. know? Everything they say and everything they do, even the way they dress is dictated by other people. Mm. Mm. That's not freedom, man. Yeah. Mm. That's not freedom. That's the trade-off. Mm. That's the trade-off. Trade you're not your own person. Yeah. You're not developing your own strategy. Mm. You're not seeing through your own dream. Mm. Back to what, what Bob just said about reflecting and all that. Um, that's, that's, about, that's what development <coughs> is all about. Come to think of it, when right? we first started, we started knocking on doors mm. on like car brands. Hey, can we test drive your car? <laughs> uh, you know, get turned down, then call this one again and say, hey, come on, have a look at our website. Uh, can we take a, your car and then we do, do some content with you guys mm. and all that. It was so difficult you know, when you were when you're so nobody. They didn't trust you guys, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So from day one up to today, we, we are quite happy with what we have achieved. Yeah. But of course, again, it's there's still a long way to go. There's there's, there's still a lot that we can do. And yeah. Try to achieve Whatever that. you guys do, don't mm. stop, man. Just keep going, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. keep going. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your advice to the budding entrepreneur? The same guy mm. that is going to a job that he hates or she hates, mm. um, going to the jam every morning. Mm. Oh gosh, one hour in the jam. Oh, my boss is an asshole. I come back, I don't have time to work out. Mm. I'm like overweight and all mm. that. Right? Mm. What's your... Because everybody wants to be yeah, on boss. I right? mean, as cliche as it may sound, there's no free lunch in this world. You got to work hard. Right? You got to be committed. You got to pay your dues. Lah. Let's put it that way. I mean, that's what... That's how mm. we all... Mm. you know came about we didn't give up yeah. we had this you little fire yeah. yeah we didn't give up we had this little fire that we want to achieve this we want to be the top gear of Asia yeah. you know all of that stuff and we believed in our idea we mm. believe in what we, we are doing mm. and we just keep pushing on just keep yeah. pushing on and you know not get stop or give up you know if you at, at a mm. hurdle or an obstacle and we just keep moving forward uh, to know that yeah you know you gotta pay your dues yeah, for, yeah. For, for those who are actually like, mm. like at the really thinking about whether to move over to the the, other, mm. the dark side yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would advise to not jump into it right away if you have mm. a, a steady job just continue doing that while at the same time also venture into what you are you, are, you, are, you have interest in 
like just just for example, if you want to sell cupcakes, mm. you wouldn't you wouldn't just resign from your bank mm. uh, everyday bank job mm. and then just start baking cakes and then mm. only start looking for buyers, right? So you do it part time. You know when we first started, there's there, there were no weekends for us. Mm. We we sure, were on websites, sure, absolutely. we were on our editing and all that. Really, it's even at home while watching TV, it's always writing, it's always fixing the websites and then doing stuff and all that. No weekends at all. So that's the, the kind of sacrifice. So do not jump into it right away. Test the water first. Mm. You know, put, your, put your little toe into the water and test it and see, see whether it works or not for you. While at the same time, you hang on to your to your monthly income. Yeah, just have your transition, income, right? Income, right? Do you also believe that entrepreneurs... Um, not everybody can be a bis- an entrepreneur. Not everybody can be own, their own boss, right? Mm. Because some people are just too cautious or they don't have the, the personality to be, um, as mm. you say, right? You've got to be very, very disciplined. Mm-hmm. You've got to be very, very resilient. And you know what, right? Actually, I've been, I've been covering, as a journalist, right? I've been covering uh, businessmen for a long time already, mm-hmm. right? When I was a kid, when I was 16, 17 years old, and I used to see successful businessmen, I used to think to myself, and you know the you know the China bad businessmen, right? Mm. Bloody rich, a lot of money, right? Mm. But when you hear them talk, you're like, how the hell did this guy get so rich? Mm. Mm. You know, you used to think like, how come he doesn't speak like uh, some wow jungle jungle, mm. right? Mm. Why does he not? Why is he not polished, right? Then now I realize, the key to success is not um, so much being smooth or being educated. Mm. Mm. The key to success is hard work as a base case. Yes and resilience yeah. stubborn mm. balls mm. courage mm. you get whacked one time you come back two times you come, you get whacked two times mm. you come back three times right. never give up greed greed okay, yeah. greed one thing mm. but resilience mm. the China pet businessman the Chinese businessman keep the bouncing back. he keep mm. bouncing back man. he keep bouncing back man <laughs> won't yeah. die <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah no serious right mm. yeah. and, and he, they take risk they, they roll the dice they fail, they go back up, they come back again, mm. and then they fight again one mm. more time. Mm. To me, that is the one defining characteristic of a very successful businessman. Mm. They keep rolling the dice. Mm. Would you agree? Never give up. Lah. Never Just, give up one thing, yeah. but always take the risk. Yeah. Always take the risk. Yeah. GC would like to say calculated risk. Correct. Because we... Which yeah. I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every, yeah. I'm sure every Chinaman has a has calculated risk. I mean, mm. they take calculated risk. And they, they whack, they, yeah. Just, they, but, just, yeah. they don't whack yeah. without they thinking. Whack, yeah, but, they, but right. when they whack, they whack. Mm. They correct. throw the whole correct. house in. Correct. Correct. They go correct. all in, right? But but it's not advisable la, you know, to, to all these young mm. No, no, of course not. There but but this is my that. observation, yeah. right? Yeah. Observation. Maybe boomers time. That era. Okay, so... Advice to the young. Advice to the budding entrepreneur. Uh, you said your thing. You said mm. your thing. Mm. Um, if there's one message you want to leave to the the next Autobus, the next GCMA, the next Dom, mm. what would it be? Don't do it. Which only be Autobus. No, we 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 do see quite a few like. Uh, up and coming. Up and There's coming, a lot, yeah. Young guys yeah. holding a camera mm. running But around, competition is good. Mm. Yes, correct. Um, yeah. uh, usually, usually they will ask, hey, how how you guys do it and all that. But I always tell them, just be consistent, always come up with content, don't give up. Mm. Yeah. Really, yeah. You, you just, no matter how shitty your content is, just put it up. Yeah. Somebody's going to watch it. Yeah. And it's going to gain traction mm. and yeah. you're just going to get better. Yeah. Mm. Not not from your first, second, third video, but probably for your 30th video and people will think, oh, you're yeah. improved. Mm. Yeah. If you give up on your sixth video or your ninth video, that's it. Yeah. You're back yeah. to your nine to five job. That's right. And right. you're back in jail. To me, <laughs> yeah. a job today is it's jail. Is jail. jail time. No, I'm serious, it's jail. Yeah. It's jail. It's jail, man. Yeah. Because you're working for the man. Mm-hmm. And your your world your life is not your own anymore. Mm-hmm. Free spirited right. like you. <laughs> uh, so when you guys riding Kapchai to Nepal, you know? I still want to do that, man. I'll fly there and meet you all there. No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Man. I was just it's talking crazy. about it the other day. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the best, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget the GS BMW. Forget it, man. Too big. Tell too heavy. My, my back can't even make it to Ipo if I was a big It goes to a lot. Yeah, 80 km. You did that recently, right? You did when? I was what, po- what was your last one? Your last my, my last big bike ride? Yeah. Portugal. I was in Portugal. I went for a junk. I went for a junket actually. Right. For BMW two years ago. Right, right, right. Then after the junket ended, I extended by a week. Mm. I rented a Vespa, mm. a nineteen sixties Vespa. 
and then mm. I rode around the whole Costa del Sol. Nice. You know the Sunshine Coast? Mm. Mm. Went to like um, uh, Sintra and all the World Heritage areas, went to the beach. It was amazing, man. You did all that alone? Yeah, yeah, solo, nice. solo, 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 nice. for sure, for sure. Cool. For sure. Hopefully one day you get to do it. Like, yeah. you know, just get a bike from here yeah. on land all the way. I think I something. think there's a proposition to do that to mm. do it um, to to still have your business to still do your commercial uh, interests but then to always take two months off here one month here three weeks there just mm. you got to structure your life I think it's possible yeah as long as you get your your, your things automated it's, 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 correct it, it goes, correct it, you don't or you have, have enough s- savings stuff you have enough mm. cash oh, that in the bank. too that too of course but then live simply right. <laughs> he doesn't live simply. He's a China man. And I'm a China man. Yeah. What's your biggest extravagance? He needs, he he believes in security, believes in doing it properly and you know, the traditional way. He has a Lexus, so, 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 it's, so it's, of it's course. A yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. It's, 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 I, I, I can't no, I, I think there's a lot of things to, to consider. Family, uh, your time for your family and, and it's, Take it's, the family just, with you. there's so many responsibilities. Take the kids is right and, and the kid needs to go to school. Yeah. You'll see that, right? So yeah. you got five weeks in December, right? Mm-hmm. Go then. Lah. This December, I'm thinking of taking my kids to Vietnam and we'll do uh, Hanoi to Da Nang on uh, Kap Chai. He did that. You did that, right? You no, did Hanoi did, to Da Nang? You did Da Nang, Da Nang too? I didn't. Just a short stint. Da Nang, oh, just around the area. Boyan, mm-hmm. the area. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, That's a bike. Bye bye. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. GC yeah. would prefer I'll prefer, I'll prefer a business uh, class flight to yeah. Maranello and <laughs> I've seen Ferrari. your stuff and it's damn good lah. <laughs> the last one you did yeah. um, <laughs> oh, the one where he this in fucker the, went to the in BMW, BMW and, top right. down right then to the BMW yeah. to the he said and he comes hi Proton yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad yeah. man. really because and it bloody works man yeah. correct I think that's like the only car now in the market that you can actually so good. tweak but you configure it, right? You configure it. Yeah, to it's, it's recognize very easily done. Word. Correct. Very easily yeah. done. Yeah. Hmm. It's been a privilege, it's guys. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for yeah. coming. Thanks. Thank you for inviting us. GC, yeah. you're a you. man, lah, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. <laughs>